Welcome along to another how-to video from Saturn Alliance. This video will focus on document libraries in SharePoint 2003. Help us continue to make material like this available. If you find this video beneficial, we would ask you to make a donation towards helping us improve what we currently provide. All donations, no matter how small, will ensure the continuation and improvement of our offerings. To make a donation, please go to donation.satinalliance.com.au So we've brought up the home page for our team site in SharePoint 2003. What we're going to have a look at is document libraries. You'll find the default document library under the heading documents and being called shared documents. So simply click on this to bring up the document library. Here we can see the default layout. We would have a fields of type, name, modified and modified by. As you can see our, our document library currently contains nothing. So the first option which is what most people will want to do is upload existing documents. To do this we simply select the upload button here and we'll be prompted with an open menu allowing us to select a file to choose to upload into the library. So now we can simply browse to a file located anywhere on our machine. So I have a number of documents on the desktop so I will select the desktop and you'll see I've got a number of them here so let me select the text document .txt. and as you can see I've got an option here to overwrite any existing files of the same name but if I now go OK this document will be copied from its original location up into SharePoint. Please note that the original document is left exactly as it is in the location that you've selected. You have a complete duplicate copy now in SharePoint. So we see in our document library we have our document uploaded to open the document or to view it, all I have to do is simply click on it like so and the document opens. If I upload a document that the system can understand by default, for example uh, a Word or an Excel document, then I'm able to open that document directly into that application provided I have the application installed on the machine. So if I want to open Word documents, I need to have Word installed on the machine. Now what we can do here is, is again, we can just go in and we can upload um, another document from our desktop. Again, a document library doesn't place any restrictions on the type of file that's uploaded. So again, if I want to upload a PDF, an Acrobat file, I simply select it and go OK. And it will now upload my second document into the library. Again, there may be a number of additional options under the menus here. Again, selecting the small pull-down arrow to the right allows you to display the full option for the menus. So what I'll do here now is I'll upload another document. Uh, it's a Word document. And if you're curious as to whether you can upload multiple documents at one time, yes you can do that, you just need to view the document library in what's known as explorer mode which is very much like the Windows file manager. But for these small number of files I'll simply um, open them directly. So I've got a full list. So now you can see that we've got four files in total we've got when they were modified and who modified them. So again, by clicking on any of these files, for example, if I want to look at the JPEG that I have uploaded, I simply click on the name of the file and I'll see that natively because it can be displayed in Internet Explorer. So now if I return to the document library, you'll notice that as I hover over each file name that I'm offered the option of a pull down menu. Again if I select the down arrow here I can choose from a number of options that are available. I can view the properties of the file, I can edit the properties, I can manage the permissions, I can delete this file from the document library, 
I can send this file to another location and provided that I have um, version control turned on in this library, I can check this document out. So again, a document library in SharePoint can be used as a basic document management system. Finally, I've got an option here that allows me to send alerts. This means that any time a document is changed, added or deleted to this document library, I can be sent an email notifying me of this fact. So if I go into here and select edit the properties, this basically will allow me to enter more information about the file in my library, which is important because if I want to take full advantage of the SharePoint facility of searching, then I need to put in as much information as I can. So if I put in here our business logo and go OK, this adds the information to that entry. But as you can see, at the moment I can only see a total of four or five columns. Okay, What happens if I want to add some additional information about some of these files? So what I can do is go to the Actions menu, pull it down, and I can select, sorry, select the settings column and create a new column. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a column to the information about each file which is going to make it easier to sort and catalogue my, my files. So what I'll do here is I'll put in a field denoting which customer say this came from. This field is going to be a single line of text as you can see. Um, our customer name. I'm going to restrict it to a total of 25 characters and I'll select OK. I've got the option here selected to add to the default view. So it now should appear in the document standard document library presentation. I click OK and as you can see now I have an additional field called customer. So if I want to make a change to the information about the file. If it's already in the library, I'm going to have to go in and edit the properties and enter information that I want about the customer. So for this customer, we'll make it from Sat Alliance and select OK. From the second file here, I'll select to edit the properties again. And for example, what I'll do is I will make this from Microsoft, say, and again, select OK to save that information. Now, the information that you're adding here, the fields that you've added are unique to SharePoint. What's the big advantage of doing this? Well, firstly, what I can do is I can choose to sort by any field in SharePoint simply by pulling the down arrow that's next to the field and selecting Right, what option that I want. So what I want to do is firstly let me resort these from A to Z. So SharePoint will now automatically redisplay these. That makes it much easier to locate the file and I can do this on any field. So again if I want to revert it so it goes to the names and I want it to be descending I simply pull down the field next to the name field and select descending and SharePoint will redisplay for me. But even more powerful than this is I can actually filter the information that I want. So say I only want to see files who have a customer field that refers to Satin Alliance. If I now select this, I'm now filtered all my information so I only see the single file which has been displayed. This has been very handy when you have lots and lots of files and rather than sorting through them you can apply a filter to only see the, the files that are most relevant to your search. This has been a basic introduction to document libraries in SharePoint 2003 from Satin Alliance. If you have any questions please contact me via robert at satinalliance.com.au Thank you.